Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Today is a special day because I'm showing you guys the new build. What can I say about this thing before revealing it? For one, it is yet again going to be a world's first. It's going to be a fabrication heavy project. That, that's why I chose it. That's why I wanted to do it because here we are with this new shop with all this, these new tools. I want to put them to use. It's going to be an awesome just street car, something that can do everything really well and then go on a road trip and you'll be comfortable. And as you read in the title, after building it and after enjoying it and putting it through its paces, I'm going to be giving it away. Without any further ado, let me show you what we got. It's an eclipse. Wait a second. It's the eclipse. <laughs> I'm sorry I did you guys dirty and made you think it was something else. But even though this car has been on the channel for a while, and you guys know all about it, the plans I have for it have completely changed. The title is true. We are going to be mid-engine swapping this thing, making it a mid-engine rear-wheel drive Eclipse and then giving it away. Let me take you back a few weeks to when I thought of this brilliant idea or insane idea, whatever you want to call it. It was towards the beginning of December. We had just gotten the shop. We had begun work on the renovations. And I started to think to myself, what do I want to do once the shop is ready. I'm having extreme fabrication withdrawals, extreme welding withdrawals, so I want to do a welding fabrication heavy project, but I still have all these other cars that I want to fix and get back on the road. I got the Eclipse, I got the Volvo. So that kind of ruled out getting another project. I don't want to be that YouTuber that has a bajillion cars that are all broken or halfway built. So I thought to myself, okay, well, what can I do with the Eclipse or with the Volvo? Well, I mean, the Volvo is already awesome. It's LS swapped. It's going to have a bunch of power once we put the new motor in it. There's really not much fabrication I can do that won't just totally change that car and just make it something that I don't want it to be. The Eclipse, on the other hand, had a few options. I thought to myself, all right, well, what's, what's the worst part about my Eclipse? Whether you like it or not, in my opinion, it's that it's front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, it's, in, it's all right, it's fine. But I don't know, you look at this car, it's so beautiful. It's got these curves, it's, it's super aggressive. And then it's front wheel drive. It's like, <laughs> all right, well, I can fix that. I mean, I made a Miata all wheel drive. So how can I make the Eclipse not front wheel drive. The obvious answer is to, to do an all wheel drive swap, but that, in my opinion, it's a little bit too basic. I don't want to do things that other people have done before. An all wheel drive swap, relatively simple. You know, these cars came all wheel drive from the factory, so it's just mixing around all, you know, factory parts. Well, uh, you know, there's other options. I could do some sort of engine swap. I could put an LS in it. I could K swap it. You know, maybe even put like a 1JZ in it. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. It would be a lot of work. You know, there's not a very big transmission tunnel because this thing is a transverse mounted motor. It's front wheel drive, you know. And the other thing is that, I mean, this is a DSM. It's got the, the, the holy grail, the 4G63. I kind of want to keep that. How do I make it not front wheel drive, not all wheel drive with the 4G63? Light bulb, I make it we will drive mid-engine. On the surface, that might sound like a crazy idea. Sounds like a lot of work, sounds impossible. But that's what people said about an all-wheel drive Miata. <laughs> Let me talk to you about the plan of this build, how we're going to achieve a mid-engine rear-wheel drive Eclipse, and then I'm gonna talk about the giveaway. Now, the reason why this idea was a good idea to me is because this car already has everything I need to make it mid-engine rear-wheel drive. This engine transmission combo, as I said, it's a transverse engine. It's sideways. It's a relatively small package. It's got a good front suspension. I can take that entire engine transmission suspension combo, drop it out of the front, and put it into 
the rear. We're gonna be utilizing a very similar thing that I did on the all-wheel drive swap in the Miata, where I built a jig off of a factory suspension, you know, factory subframe, and then pretty much moved it into another location and built a cage, built a, a chassis around that. So we'll remove everything from the front, cut a big old hole in the back. Then we will build a jig off of the front suspension, the front chassis, something that locates the control arms, the suspension, the top hats, the motor mounts, the transmission mounts, all of that. Put that jig into that hole in the rear, and then we will build a cage and build a chassis that matches up with that jig. Then we can remove the jig and literally just bolt in the front stuff into the rear. So, I mean, that's easy. <laughs> I, I might sound a little crazy saying that, but the hardest part about builds like this would be getting the geometry of everything right and building a jig off of the existing chassis, the, the, the geometry that's already proven, it makes it a lot easier. Sure, there's going to be a lot of fabrication to get the front stuff to bolt up into the rear. We have to make sure the chassis is structural and that the engine's not just gonna fly itself out of the back, but that's the fun part. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it hacked. I don't want it to be a car that kind of drives with an engine in the back. I want it to feel like it came from the factory with the engine back there. Um, it's going to be an awesome street car. It's gonna be comfortable. I got a full new interior for it, a new sound system. Obviously, the engine has some problems, so we're going to rebuild the 4G63 from the block up. The transmission, it's got an open differential, which is fine when it's front wheel drive, but once it's rear wheel drive, uh-uh. So we're gonna put an LSD in it, new clutch. We're gonna finally make it make more power, standalone ECU, new fuel system, possibly a new turbo if it needs it. The goal is right around 400 wheel horsepower. With the engine and stuff being in the back, some things have to move to the front. So we're going to build a gas tank that fits in this front section. The radiator is still gonna stay up front, but we'll have to route lines and do an external water pump. The intercooler, probably gonna do a water to air intercooler. Or, you know, I haven't, I haven't thought of everything yet. I'm thinking about maybe taking out this rear hatch, this rear glass, and doing some sort of cool ducting. I don't know. The thing is, I want you to be able to tell there's a motor back there, so keeping that glass there is probably a better bet. With the motor being back here though, it's gonna give me a lot of opportunities to do a really cool exhaust. Just imagine this car sitting in front of you. I'm gonna do some sort of bumper cut, and you, you kind of lean down, and you see a motor, a transmission, and then an exhaust, maybe like twirling, doing some, I, I don't know. Let your imagination go wild. That's what gets me excited for this build, is that it's gonna be super unique. Really, it's gonna be an MR2, except better in every single way. Better motor, looks way better than an MR2, that's for sure. And hopefully it'll drive better than an MR2 as well. I'm so, so excited for this. I've been wanting to do a mid-engine swap on something, and that's why this build is, it, it, it fell into place perfectly. Because I wanted to do a fabrication heavy build, I had to finish this thing, had to fix it. Why not do the Minogen swap on this? This is going to be the Eclipse MR GST. And if you weren't excited about this enough, the giveaway. Let's talk about that. Now for this giveaway, I have partnered with Power JDM. Huge thank you to Power JDM and the guys over there because without them, none of this would have been possible. Now, if you guys want to enter this giveaway and you want a chance to win this one of a kind mid-engine rear-wheel drive Eclipse, soon to be, you guys can head over to Power JDM. We've collaborated on a bunch of new Jinji merchandise. They also have a bunch of their own awesome merchandise. Every dollar you spend on merchandise gets you one entry for your chance to win this thing. So say you spend 20 bucks on a shirt, then that gives you 20 entries. Now the merchandise that we've already made for this giveaway, I'm so happy with, I'm so excited. We've got some Yada stuff, we've got some drift truck stuff, some 4G63 things. We've got new Gingium air fresheners, some new key tags, with Miata is always the answer, 4G63 power. We even have koozies. All the merchandise, super high quality. We're not giving you guys cheap products. These shirts are some of the softest shirts you'll ever buy. Same with the hoodies. And on Power JDM, there are merchandise bundles. So say you want a shirt, you want a hoodie, an air freshener, and maybe a koozie. Well, you can get all of that at once for a discounted price with free shipping and bonus entries. So that's a win-win-win. Power JDM also is a car parts supplier. So if you buy car parts off their website, you know, say you need a new exhaust for your truck and you spend 400 bucks on that exhaust, that gives you 400 entries to win the car. How awesome is that? I know all of you guys are buying car parts, so now you can buy car parts that come with a car, possibly. Power JDM has a ton of parts. Got ECUs, turbos, suspensions, exhausts, clutches. They even have consumables like oil, spark plugs. So if you don't need anything big for your car, you can just get simple stuff like that. Now the giveaway starts 
today and it's going to end March 31st, the end of March, which means I've got 75 days to build this thing and enjoy it put it through its paces, and then give it to one of you guys. It's, you know, somewhat of a time crunch, but you know, this car's already pretty dialed. I did the Rail Miata swap in about that time, and I had to paint the car. You know, there was a lot more work that went, went into that thing. 75 days, it should, should give us plenty of time. And trust me, I want to, I want to enjoy this thing in my own possession a little bit before giving it to one of you guys to enjoy. Now the giveaway, it's available in all 50 states of the United States for my out of country folks. I'm sorry. If you're curious about any of the rules for the giveaway, you can also go over to Power JDM. They've got all the rules in details listed there. You guys can also get double entries by signing up for Power JDM's email list. Free way to get a better chance at winning this car. I really hope you guys are excited for this. I, for one, am just so excited for this opportunity to build such a cool, unique car and give it away to one of you guys. Yet again, none of this would be possible without Power JDM. I know some people might be concerned about going to a third party website to enter something. For me, they're an awesome company. It's not like it's some third party rando company that's doing this giveaway that's going to take, you know, all the revenue. The guys over at Power JDM, super fair. Literally, this would have never happened without them. In the next video, we... <laughs> We're, we're, we're gonna be working on the shop. Just a little bit more is the last shop video, I promise. And it is going to be fabrication. So that's exciting. After that, we're going to get to work on this thing. First step, the thing we're gonna get started on uh, is pulling the motor. That 4G, that transmission, it's gotta come out. Then we can disassemble that, start rebuilding that. And while that's being rebuilt, I can start working on the jig, start cutting a hole in the chassis and ruining my perfectly good uh, clip. I meant uh, building an awesome, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie, you know, it's it's been a while since I melted metal together with lightning and bent metal with hydraulic pressure, but it's it's like riding a bike, right? I mean, once you learn it, you don't forget it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Also, <laughs> a good luck. This thing's gonna be sick.